Hi everyone, my name is Paolo De Petris. I'm a PhD student at the Autonomous Robots Lab NTNU. Today I will present one of our latest work titled Resilient Collision Tolerant Navigation in Confined Environments. In particular, I will present the design and autonomous navigation policy of the Resilient Microflyer or RMF, a new type of collision tolerant robot tailored to fly through extremely confined environments and manhole side tubes. This work has been conducted together with my colleagues Juan Wen, Mihir Kulkarni, Frank Maskaric and Dr. Kostas Alexis. Despite the progress, multiple essential environments still present unique challenges for autonomous entry and navigation of flying robots. This, in particular, relates to extremely confined settings commonly found in industrial or natural environments, such as narrow manuals, ship ballast water tanks, and cave passages. Examples of such environments are depicted in the current slide. Despite the availability of miniaturized flying platforms, autonomous operations in most such environments is yet to be achieved. A lot of work has been conducted in the past decades regarding the design and the navigation policy of collision-tolerant flying robots. In this slide, we report a tiny portion of it, mainly to show the different approaches in the design of a collision-tolerant platform over the years. The RMF maintains a low weight, high endurance and small dimensions. It implements a combined region compliant design through the integration of elastic flaps around its stiff collision tolerant frame. These passive flaps ensure compliant collisions, contact sensing and smooth navigation in contact with the environment. The crucial role of the interplay between the rigid and compliant parts will be better explained later in this presentation. Regarding the high-level sensing and processing, RMF is equipped with a RealSense T265 tracking camera that provides odometry estimation, a Pix Racer M15 as a low-level attitude controller, four single-beam time-of-flight sensors providing distance measure measurements at the maximum range of 2 meters, and two flex sensors utilized for collision detection. All the presented policies and the high-level controller run on board a CADES Beam 3 as main processing unit. The position controller of RMF is a straightforward implementation of fixed gain PID control, while the YO controller utilizes a proportional control scheme. This scheme works efficiently despite its simple control structure. Its efficacy for RMF is attributed to the nature of its rigid body dynamics and also the very fast and high dynamic range actuators utilized alongside its minimized weight. The outputs of the position and yaw controllers are the commanded acceleration vector and yaw rate, which are then converted to the attitude thrust command and forwarded to the low level controller inside the autopilot. The second block of the navigation policy of RMF is the reactive collision avoidance. RMF integrates and utilizes four single beam time of flight sensors that provide reliable ranging in the immediate vicinity of the robot. Based on these sensors, RMF implements a last resort lightweight reactive collision avoidance strategy, which aims to avoid obstacles or, at the very least, tends to reduce the likelihood or risk of a forcible collision. The implemented reactive avoidance policy takes the form of the superimposed acceleration commands added into the overall control policy as presented in this slide. In this case, we utilize the estimated x-axis velocity of the robot to check if it is going forward or backward. RMF is designed in view of the possibility that navigation in extremely confined environments with multiple and complex objects can lead to situations where collisions are not avoidable. In order to both best avoid collisions and mitigate their risks as much as possible, RMF implements an additional functionality beyond the reactive avoidance using time-of-flight sensing. Through the compliant contact flaps implementing touch sensing based on the flex sensors, RMF can detect collisions with its environment. 
as a collision can lead to disturbance to the desired trajectory and thus flight disturbances, while in addition a collision event may imply that the rest of the environment is also collision prone, RMF implements a policy for collision-aware adaptive navigation. In particular, given the desired forward acceleration, this is adjusted based on the formula presented in this slide. This means, in practice, that RMF has the tendency to fly less aggressively as the number of collisions increase. To evaluate the resilience and survivability of the proposed RMF robot design and its collision-aware method for autonomous navigation, a set of challenging studies were conducted. In particular, the presented experiments relate to the following confined navigation tasks. The autonomous detection and navigation through a complex manhole with non-straight shape. The autonomous safe navigation through a corridor involving multiple obstacles, including structurally thin objects. The specific evaluation of the effect of adaptive forward control actions in relation to collisions detections. And lastly, a stress test of the robustness of the onboard visual inertial odometry against multiple collisions. In the first experiment, the robot successfully detects the 0.5 times 0.4 manhole opening, approaches its entrance, and then triggers a specific mode for the manhole navigation. As demonstrated, the robot achieves smooth and reliable traversal through its disconstrained 5.2 meter long setting and automatically adjust its heading to respect the change in manhole shape. The achieved performance is largely attributed to the role of the compliant flaps and the utilization of the time of flight sensors for the yaw alignment with the manhole shape. Here are reported some highlights of the experiment. RMF resiliently traverses this tight environment by exploiting its compliant flaps, which ensure smooth contact with the environment. After a successful detection and localization of the manhole, the robot enters the manhole and subsequently locks a forward pitch command. It minimizes the sum of the left and right diagonals to keep the yaw aligned with the tube. Using its time-of-flight sensors, the system is then able to detect the exit of the tube and safely land outside. Instances of the mission and the onboard camera are also presented. In the second experiment, we demonstrate the resilient behavior emerging through the combination of avoiding a subset of the obstacles and maintaining safe physical interaction with the environment when complete avoidance is not fully achieved either due to the inability of the time of flight sensor to detect some objects or due to the speed of the movement. Here we report some instances of the experiment to highlight the co-exploitation of the avoidance strategy of RMF involving its time of flight sensors and the collision aware acceleration adjustment. The obstacles are intentionally placed between the waypoints to demonstrate the reactive behavior. The combination of these two methods leads to safe navigation and interaction with the environment even when complete avoidance is not fully successful. To specifically evaluate the behavior of collision-aware control policy adaptation, we then conducted an experiment involving three intentional collisions with the environment, as reported in, in this video. The system not only sustains all collisions and persists its navigation task, but importantly, achieves this behavior by reducing its acceleration commands in response to each collision event. It automatically employs more conservative actions to enhance safety and the likelihood of survival of the onboard estimation process. Also in this case, we report some instances of the experiment. As can be seen, RMF is able to sustain all three collisions and to persist in its navigation task by reducing its forward acceleration command as a reaction to the collision events detected by the integrated flex sensor inside the flaps. Last but not least, we present a stress test of the onboard visual inertial odometry 
during collisions with bumps with a maximum speed up to 1.7 meters per second. Due to the beneficial role of the rigid compliant design of RMF, primarily through its flaps, the robot maintains reliable pose estimates after a sequence of forceful collisions with the environment. This is an essential property of the robot's design and it stands at the backbone of its ability to demonstrate resilient autonomy. In the reported plot, it can be clearly seen that when RMF is equipped with the flaps, the Vicon ground truth is strictly followed by the odometry, even after multiple hits with top speed greater than 1.7 meters per second. I would really like to thank my colleagues who helped me in the development of this work, my advisor, Dr. Costas Alexis, and all of you for your kind attention. Please feel free to ask your questions or contact me for any further discussions.